Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2021 Ford Edge ST line. The Ford Edge ST line is a new trim level for the model year this year. It has the exterior and look of an Edge ST with the power and performance of an Edge SEL. Very nice look with here. You get the rapid red color, black wheels, Let's take a look at what this trim level does offer. Starting with the door, you do have intelligent access door handles, remote entry keypad. You've got blind spot on the mirrors, power window, power mirror controls along the door sill with nice red stitching, leather interior, of course, on the inside. You've got this Edge ST line scuff plate, power seats with lumbar for both passenger and driver. These bucket seats are leather and cloth in the center. To the left of the steering wheel, you've got your fog lights, lighting controls, traction control, and your trunk release button. And getting inside of the edge, the newest change to the 2021 model year is this giant display with Sync 4. So let's go ahead, press the push button start, and you can see everything come to life here. You do also get LED lighting with these auto high beams. Really nice package in here. You've got the cold weather package too, so you've got rubber floor mats, a few other features. You've got two split screens here like the previous edge designs. On the left, you get an RPM cluster. Temperature gauges, tire pressure, speed, all-wheel drive distance to empty, and more. You've got two trip settings, a fuel economy, a driver's assist panel, so you can go in here and view your blind spot, cross traffic, cruise control, which is adaptive, driver's alert, lane keep assist, pre-collision, and much, much more. And then you have other vehicle settings, such as display and my key. On the right, you've got entertainment, navigation, and phone. You can control all three of those from the steering wheel, so you can change the radio station, you can set up a destination and you can connect your phone and listen to your own music. The steering wheel itself, you've got these lane keep assist on the back of the blinker stock here. You've got these paddle shifters for sport mode and then you have adaptive cruise control on the left, hands-free and volume controls on the right. But this is Sync 4. It is on this massive 12 inch display, new for the edge. Very familiar to the Mach-E setup display. Up top here is your main settings area, so you've got sound, radio, phone list, and you can just control, drag, and touch wherever you want to place the sound. You can change the radio, add a phone list, go into your vehicle settings. You've got general settings in here as well, and then you have display settings. This button up here is your main navigation section, so you can go in here and navigate through your different menus, such as radio, phone, navigation, if you even be. You can bring up your navigation, you've got Bluetooth audio, but since we're on navigation, you can add this to full screen or you can minimize it. You've got a 3D setting, pinpoint your vehicle, ask it where you want to go, and then you can even search for various locations such as a home, work address, recents, categories, trips, four dealerships, anything you want to find, you'll be able to find it easily in this Ford infotainment system. You've even got a little settings button down here so you can ask it where you are, traffic and alerts, and various parking settings. Moving over here, you do have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Just connect your phone, you get an owner's manual, and you even have various notes if you'd like to take down some notes. You get quick settings here, so if you want to jump back over to a previous setting you were on, easy, just like this. Moving away from the settings though, you do have your dual zone climate in here. You can bring this up and then you can adjust all your climate controls. Dual zone, you can enter your max AC and you can select various zones when it comes to your climate. Moving downwards, you do have your manual radio controls. Storage down here with USB-A and USB-C charging. You've got your center console with electric parking brake, auto start stop, two cup holders, and you've got your gear lever with shift mode or sport mode as well. Getting in the center console, you've got this nice big leather center console with a lot of storage. You've got uh, various sections you can open up just by moving this. And then there you go. Nice and deep center console. Now let's go and take a look at the back of the Edge ST. So coming around the back, as you can see here, you do have your privacy glass. Your gas cap is on the left side. You've got your paint matched rear bumper with that rear park aid sensors, trailer hitch, and dual exhaust. And the only thing you have back here is just the word edge and a backup camera. Getting in the trunk, you just use the key fob and you're good to go. Now that you're in this trunk, you have a lot of storage space. You can increase that by using the left and right buttons here to plop that seat down. And then you have about six feet worth of trunk space 
in the back of this edge. Spare mats are included as well. And then under here is your spare tire tool or your spare tire with your fuel nozzle and lots of under storage too. You even got a side cubby over here if there's anything you want to put back here without rolling around. To close the trunk, you can use the key fob and you can press this button and then walk away as the trunk closes itself up. Getting into the back seat of the Edge ST, you've got the same stitching along the back side here. You've got a cup holder in here, window controls, all that good stuff. You've got the same leather cloth combination in the back seats. Rubber floor mats are equipped too. You've got nice storage in the front of you here. You can put your phone, whatever you want to put in there, your keys. You've got adjustable climate vents down here, storage in here, and you have some power points as well. So you've got a household plug and two USB ports right here. It's kind of hard to see. It's a bit dark in here. But then if you don't have a middle passenger, you get this drop-down leather armrest with built-in cup holders. Nice solid back to it. And then you've got two various dome lights. You've got a brighter one or you've got a dimmer one and you can adjust the two. And then moving back up towards the front, take a look here. You do have the ST line badging on the side. Looks really sharp. And then we'll take a look at the LED lighting package up front. You've got high beams, low beams, and fog lights with the grill and active grill shutters. And your active arrow right up front there too. Not active arrow, just regular arrow. But make sure to come over to McPhee Ford to get your hands on this Edge ST line. Looks looking very sharp and especially in the red color. So make sure to come over and talk to us. As always, we appreciate you watching the video. Feel free to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.